Can you negotiate the price of a new home? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you when and how you can negotiate the price of a brand new construction house. Hi, I'm Dana Pollard and 12 years ago, I started selling new homes as a sales counselor and learned the process of building a home and, and when builders discount their listings and why they wouldn't and all that good stuff. So all that to say, I then got my real estate license and so I've been helping buyers like you purchase new homes, even resale homes and I list homes as well. With all that being said, in this video, I'm going to share the hidden way you can get the best deal on a new home. So first off, you have to understand that there are three ways to purchase a brand new home. And the first is to build from scratch. When building a new home from scratch, you know, pick out your floor plan, lot, colors, etc., you cannot negotiate the base price of a home. You can, however, maybe get some free blinds thrown in or usually in most scenarios, they're giving incentives away like a package deal that includes an, a higher level of granite, a appliance package, or sometimes they'll give you like $12,000 in the showroom. So all that being said, with when you build from scratch, you have very, very little negotiation room. The other two ways to buy a new home is to buy an inventory home or what we call a bust. <laughs> a bust is whenever someone else uh, plans on building a home and they choose the colors, they choose the floor plan, the lot and all of that. And then for some reason, the contract falls through. Most of the time it's because of financing. So those are what we call bust. But let's back up and talk about the inventory homes. Inventory homes are homes that builders build um, in plans of selling them quick when they're finished for a quick sale. Now with inventory homes and busts, you can negotiate the price of a new construction home. You have the most leverage after it is completely finished because the day the home is finished, they start losing money, okay? So they may not discount it massively right away, but I guarantee if that home sits empty for 30 days or more, they're gonna start slashing the price. So first off, not only can you negotiate, but they're already gonna start bringing the price down after 30 days and you can negotiate on top of that. And then busts are really the best way to get the best deal on a brand new home and this is why. First off, they weren't necessarily planning for the bus. Now I'm sure in their budgets, they do account for busts. But where the gold is, is in the ugly. <laughs> the gold is in the ugly. And so what happens is if, if a buyer comes in and designs a home that is not necessarily the trend, or maybe they put in mauve countertops, I have seen mauve countertops, then the next buyer that comes in is not going to like their taste. And so sometimes a bust is hard for the builder to sell. And if that's the case, you go in and you go, Ooh, those are ugly mob countertops. And instead of walking away, you can go, Hey, Mr. Builder, how about I put in an offer, you negotiate an offer and Mr. Builder, would you replace those countertops before I move in with the really nice granite? And so that way, not only will you get a really good deal on a new home, but you're not stuck with the mauve countertops. So most builders will be thrilled to change the countertops out if the home has been sitting vacant for a while. And if you're going to build a new home, you do want a real estate agent that is experienced that way you can get the best deal and you'll have someone to walk with you through closing especially if you're building from scratch building from scratch just because you can go in without a real estate agent doesn't mean you should go in without a real estate agent so many people don't and then they have no one to fight for them or to go to to battle with the builder when things go wrong because when you build a home from scratch Trust me, 
things will go wrong and you need someone that understands the industry that unless you've built, you know, 10, 20 homes a year yourself, then I recommend you have an agent that knows what they're doing, not just any agent. Good gravy, I'm just harping on that. But I'm really, I really do believe in hiring an experienced agent for resale, for new homes, and for selling your house. So hey, if you were thinking about buying a new construction home, or resale of course, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, hey, I have a $1,500 buyer rebate that I'm giving back to you, the buyer. So you can use that $1,500 for closing cost credit or a check after closing. But anyway, all you have to do is register in the link below and choose me as your real estate agent. Hey. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I release more content like this one on new homes, moving to Dallas, Fort Worth, and sometimes selling tips as well, because I do sell houses. Anyways, guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching.